Hello, everyone. As you're filing in, welcome to the Brooklyn Rails 671st New Social Environment. I'm Carolyn, the program's associate here at the Rail, and I have the pleasure and privilege of being your MC today for a conversation featuring Su Chung Hyun and Robert C. Morgan. We are thrilled to welcome poet Julie August here to close today's program. Before we get started, the Brooklyn Rail acknowledges Black Lives Matter and that here in New York, we are on Lenape Hoking, the unceded land and waters of the Wappinger, Canarsie, Muncie, and Lenny Lenape people of the Delaware Nation and Shinnecock Indian Nation. We recognize land acknowledgements are not a replacement for actual necessary decolonial work, but a reminder of place, of the legacies of dispossession and enslavement that, sus that sustained and enriched the stolen land we are speaking from. And now to introduce today's guest and host, curator Su Chung Hyun received her PhD in art history from Chosun University in Korea in February, 2010. Since then, she expanded her interests to embrace the intersections between Eastern and Western cultures, pursuing a dialogue between contemporary and classical traditions emanating from both cultures. Our host today is writer, artist, critic, art historian, curator, and edu educator Robert C. Morgan, PhD, who is knowledgeable in the history and aesthetics of both, both Western and Asian art. Morgan has lectured widely, written hundreds of critical essays, translated into 20 languages, published monographs and books, and curated numerous exhibitions. He writes about art for the Brooklyn Rail and is regarded by some as a hard edge painter. And thank you all so much for being here. With that, I'm going to turn it over to you, Robert and Suchen. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Carolyn, correct? Yes, yes, Carolyn, thank you so much for that. Uh, it was a beautiful introduction and uh, I would like to, I would like to uh, begin now with some comments uh, about uh, Su Chan Hyun. Uh, this kind of happened by accident. I realized that there were not that many people in the art world that were connected with Quan Ju. And uh, given um, you know, her presence in the art world as a Korean uh, American artist, I thought it would be valuable to have some direct words and uh, ideas and uh, the opportunity to engage with Su Chan Hyun uh, because she was there. When I speak about there, uh, I'm talking about the uh, demonstrations that happened in May of 18, 1980. And they were brutal demonstrations by the um, stand-in president who was not really an elected president. And uh, uh, many times military was called in and uh, they say that uh, uh, 200 students were shot and killed uh, within the first five days. Uh, that's a lot. And many of them were, uh, many others were wounded. And that was very problematic uh, in terms of the hospitals and the care and so forth. It was a very, very difficult time. And I think that Su Chan will explain this far better than I can because she was there. And uh, I would just like to say that her bringing together this uh, this demonstration in Kwanju with the art that was being made at that time and later is something that I don't think has ever really been done in a formative way to the extent that Su Chun knows what it is and how it happened. And therefore, uh, on that note, I am going to begin with uh, some questions. And um, uh, Suchan, I think, is uh, very eager to get into this. And so we're going to begin now. Uh, this exhibition, co curated between uh, Suchan Hyun and Theria Vrakopoulos, could be considered a major art historical event. What do you think makes it so important? What I think is important. Uh, this is uh, art exhibition. It's not any political kinds of the demonstration. 
this art is different. So, uh, but uh, the audience for this the event, uh, who knows uh, Gwangju, but many people uh, might uh, not clear where is the Gwangju, what is the Gwangju on rising. So beginning part, I like to share some image of the Gwang, uh, the image of the what I prepare for this event. Uh, okay, so can I share the screen? This okay, one. so, oh, okay. I don't know, it's already started. Uh, this one. No, 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 go, go. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, could you keep the image on? Uh, could you keep it on, please? The image. Okay. Not this. Okay. So th this, uh, when you see right side, there is a map. This is the Korean Peninsula. So the connected to the China in between China and Japan. So as you know, Korea still divided two countries, North and South Korea. Gwangju is the West and South part of the Korea. Uh, Gwangju is the now is the fifth biggest city in Korea. Uh, 42 years ago in this city, there was so very, uh, a tra tragic kind of trauma incident happened there. So many people yeah, died in, in missed bodies situation. So uh, this is a very general description about what is the Gwangju Democratic Uprising. It's happened that on May 18 to uh, close the May 27th. So that is the around 10 days, please. Uh, 10 days the incident. So during the uprising, so many people died by military dictatorship. So that is a uh, brutal suppress, the kinds of the control the people. So this the Gwangju uprising is uh, now we called the May 18th democratic movement. So this is a parade of a provocative law in the democratization and Korean of the South Korea. So that is a very uh, remarkable historical context for this show. This show is basically recalled this historical thing. So uh, the John Jay College, there is a gallery. The name is the Enya Andrew Shiba Gallery. So, we made the title with co creator uh, the Blood and Tears, a really strong title, a portrait of the Kwangju Democratic Uprising. We invite 19 artists in one artist group. So this is in the view of the inside of the gallery. Uh, there are some woodcut print or painting or some installation, the, the project room. There is uh, some videos, uh, slide, a slide show and sculpture. There are different mediums. Uh, the 19 artists, uh, only one artist from New York who made the opening performance, Hai Yun Jae very remarkable, distinguished performance. Many people moved uh, by her performance. About 18 artists, they are all from Gwangju or Gwangju area. So the artists who invite this show, they had experience of the Gwangju uprising directly or indirectly. So uh, this show is, so uh, you said, the most important part or meaningful thing, this is the first time bring the body of the Gwangju artist who present Gwangju uprising through the artwork. So that is the first to show. So that okay. is very important part. Uh, you mentioned that the artists were from Gwangju, but the, uh, this, uh, the area that surrounds Gwangju, as I recall, is Cholanamdo. Yes. Is, is that correct? And uh, that has a traditional cultural uh, place in the history of uh, the nation of South Korea. And uh, some of these artists were at that time where their families, uh, so to speak, were uh, involved in the demonstrations. 
Okay. Yes. And uh, it is very interesting to note that uh, right at the beginning, uh, when the um, autocrat was being challenged because he wasn't really an elected president, okay, this is important, uh, that 600 students showed up from the university in uh, uh, Chengnam. Ch Chengnam, that's correct, we, where you were also a student, correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. And uh, the first day, 600 students, and that was later uh, supported by working citizens in Quanju, bus drivers, taxis, um, all kinds of uh, uh, professions, uh, mostly on a working class level. So here we have a photograph, or two photographs, uh, which I think are remarkable to see. I mean, we're talking about the fifth largest city in Korea, which is not so large, but in fact, uh, the entire city was brought into this, and this is what the military had to deal with. And they dealt with it, unfortunately, by killing people and wounding many, many more. Okay, let's uh, go to the next question. Uh, uh, what were the major issues at stake during these demonstrations in Kwanju? Perhaps you could articulate those. Uh, uh, what what happened? Oh, and then the other question is, why do you think this happened in Guangzhou and not in Seoul? But I think the first question is the most important. Uh, the demonstration, the register military dictatorship, is happened not only in Guangzhou at the moment, all around Co uh, Korea. Korea, big cities, especially Seoul or Busan or other city, students or citizens they registered the military dictatorship. So you didn't mention about what the political situation in Korea right. in the early 1980s. 1980s, before then, uh, 1979, as you know, the uh, the Mr. Park Jong-hee, he did assassinate. He was assassinated, yeah. yes. He was assassinated. So uh, through the situation, uh, he did 18 years military dictatorship. So when he uh, was assassinated, people expected Korea uh, would be turned to more democratic country. But at that moment, another military leader uh, repressed his position. He's Sir Chen Du Huan. So, students or intellectuals, they're continually demonstrated or make issue about the social justice or demo, uh, democratic movement in Korea. But the time in Korea 1980 is so different from right now. This is the uh, 2022, four years later, as you know, Korea is like economically or culturally much advanced country. So many young people know about Korean, uh, what is the rock singer, BTS or Korean film. But 42 years is much poor country or uh, the whole, the, political environment is so different. But um, uh, go, go back to the question. Uh, during time, the demonstration is not any violence or situation. This kind of very peaceful. At the outset. At the beginning yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. So like that, this is the happened in Gwangju, May 15th. The, uh, the left or uh, on the screen, or left side is like put on the jacket, a very well custom. That is the professors, the professors and the barlow students. Yeah, the front part is the uh, hold the national flag. That is the front part is some young students, and then behind the barlow the professors, and then and then the the next part is students. Yeah. So they peacefully they made the so, Kinds of parade. The association is the Korean term is the Minjong Muna Songe. That is the uh, great art rally for the national democratization. So they did march and then they present. But so unfortunately, the very the military dictators point that is scared about the 
the citizens they kind so protest. So he the John he made the big kinds of the what is the name the martial law. Uh, martial the, law yeah, yes control yes. the people by military power. So that is the happened that May 18 like the middle of the night. So everything is make it shut down the, in the uh, in all around the country. But Kwangju, Jeonnam National University, they gathered it in front of the, maybe I brought the, oh, no, this is one of the uh, the people May 18th the uh, citizens the association a uh, protest. Yes, uh, uh, torchlight. Torchlight procession. Yeah, at the uh, uh, in front of the province hall in Gwangju. Mm, oh, this is another other image. So we right, should... well, hold this for a while. Can, can you talk about this? Uh, later. Later. Oh, okay. later. Okay. So anyway, this is another image. We go to first. Um, what is your question? I'm confused. <laughs> no, I, I was asking you. Oh, why is happening in Gwangju? And, and, yeah. and not in Seoul, which is the cause. So as I said, it was not only Gwangju, several cities, the most uh, citizens and the students, they did a demonstration. Uh, one thing is happening that um, May 15 in Seoul, the students and the citizens, they get a big protest, but they uh, something, the students at the, uh, in front of the Seoul station, but uh, they got some information. The police they uh, uh, react to students who are citizens protest through the violence. So their students are a little scared about this situation, and then they uh, dismiss the, their protest. And but Gwangju after martial law May 18, the Gwangju students they put together gathered at the entrance of the Jeonnam University, and then they came out from the street at the Gwangju. Good, good. So that is the one situation. Um, another thing is a very personal part to understand why happened in Gwangju? Why is the Gwangju is a, the kinds of the historical city uh, made it? Um, I'm from Gwangju. Uh, for my understanding is the character people of the Cholanamdo, uh, that area much agricultural background and uh, very long historical heritage of the culture. So the people like art and then uh, many intelligent people, uh, they can't stand uh, the kinds of injustice situation. So they are much directly present social issues. They are not that much uh, think about their own individuals, the protection. Mm -hmm. They think mm -hmm. about more the why. So this, there was an immediate coalition. People came together quickly and forcefully. Yeah, that is, uh, I think, the, uh, some regional background, the city of the Gwangju. Sure. They love the art and they're very passionate characters. Okay, uh, Su Chen, let's uh, switch. Uh, context uh, for this next question. Uh, you've written an essay, a very fine essay, by the way, on the historical context of Minjun art in New York. I would gather to say that probably not too many New Yorkers know what Minjun art is. And I'm wondering if you could give us some information in terms of uh, what this group of artists was about and why they were so important. Uh, perhaps you would also like to discuss the importance of these exhibitions. Uh, you can quote them if you want, but I think that uh, for the for the moment, let's uh, define Minjun art. Okay. Uh, Minjun. This is Korean term. Uh, in modern co uh, or contemporary Korean art history, uh, in in the world in the world side, there is. Two, uh, two or three terms uh, in Korean can use directly outside of Korea. Like the one of the term is recently Tansekwa, it's previously a translated mono from painting, but now it's uh, so-called Tansekwa. Like that, 
Minjung is Korean term. Minjung means the people. Minjung art means people's art. The people's art. Yeah. Yes. That's so uh, that is basically political art, the political issues, the think about the people's, the, the what is the much focus on people's the human right or political issues is the uh, main theme of the Minjun art. So when I prepared this show, uh, actually it's needed so many times to preparation this show because this is international show. I need to find the proper place. I need this, I'm an independent curator. I need to find some uh, funding, what is the fundraising? Fundraising, Yeah, yes. for my show. So it took time. So during the, my preparation, first thing, what I have done, I did research. What kinds of show relate to Korean political art happened in New York days? So first thing I found that this is the, in 1988 at the artist space, there was show Minjung art. This is first Korean political art outside of the Korea. The Minjung art in 1988 uh, introduced Korean political art uh, to resist our military dictatorship. This is the poster of the show. So, uh, interesting part is that in 1988, what happened in Korea is the international sports game. That is the 8888 Olympic, very important part in Korean history. Turned to, the Olympics, yeah. Yeah, yeah. turned to modern society. Uh, before 88, in Korea until 87, John Duan, as I said you, who ordered the Gwangju uprising during the uprising that killed the people? He was the replacement for the man that was uh, killed, right? The assassin. Uh, no, 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 no. Didn't he follow him? Yes, I think so. Chun, yes, yes, yeah, Chen yes, Duan. Yes, yeah, that's right. right. Okay. So Chen Duan resigned his position in 1987. That's the reason turned to 880. Is a little, uh, also another president, his name is No Teo, he's of the military background, but it's a little different from previous the uh, Chun. So this is first exhibition in uh, New York related Korean military uh, Korean political art. And then next one is the, uh, I, can I just say something about, about the, okay. this? Uh, can, how do I go back right here? Okay, let me Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, this uh, photograph uh, was taken by an artist who took many uh, photographs of what was going on. And this is the beginning of the breakout of the military. Uh, and th these, by the way, were very well-trained military, okay? They weren't just people that were asked to be in the army or whatever. Uh, they were very, very well-trained military. And uh, you can see that there are two things that are being used. You can't see the gas. Well, you can in a way, uh, if you look carefully. Uh, the tear gas and the clubs were the two things that they used, okay, to uh, keep the students down. Uh, they tried, but the students were incredibly brave and courageous in terms of this event. Anyway, I think that this photograph is very important in terms of seeing what was happening at that time. Yeah. I think this may be taken, it's not Gwangju, it's taken in Seoul, some near the city. Oh the yeah, okay, city. I didn't know that. Right. Yeah. Same thing, basically. Yeah, similar situation. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, another show uh, across the Pacific. This show invites Korean Minjung art and the artists who live in the United States, Korean American artists, but focus on Minjung art. So uh, this is kind of the, the bridge between Korea and United States through the Minjung art, especially uh, Korean American artists, they didn't know well about the Korea situation. So through this the exhibition, they get the more kinds of the, this happened in 1994. 1994, uh, what the connection historically. Nine, nine, nine is Four, yes. Yeah, so 19, the end of the 1993 to 1994, uh, there was a uh, Los Angeles loudy 
in the kinds of political situation in the United States. So Korean American artists, they are very uh, involved in the identity issues. That is the connection. Okay. And then the, the third one. Yes, this is the, uh, third, and, and the date on this was uh, the April uh, 2019, right? In 1999, uh, this, uh, so that is global conceptual point yeah, yeah, of that's the right, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So it, this is very, sorry. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is very international show, but it's the, uh, around uh, 130 international artists participated in this show, but Korean section, the Song wang his curator, he invite Korean Minjung artists at the uh, Western conceptualism. So uh, through this exhibition, Korean Minjung art is uh, connected with the international multiculturalism. And then the, uh, I didn't put, uh, didn't put in the last one. The, another one is 2003 at the Queen's Museum, there was a show, uh, East Wind. Uh, East Wind uh, invite one Kwang, uh, four Gwangju artists. The, one of the artists, Hong Song Dam, uh, he's the, the artist in, uh, in this my show also. The, at the, what is the gallery? It's the Enya Andrew Shiva Gallery. So Hong Song Dam, he is from Gwangju. Only one artist he presented Minjung Art at the 2003 uh, at the Queen's Museum. So there are four uh, exhibitions uh, before the. Before yours? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So uh, let's uh, move along. Uh, I understand that you were born and raised in Gwangju. How did you feel? When the demonstrations began, what motivated you to participate? Uh, this is the uh, image in front of the uh, Cheonnam National University uh, at the gate. Kind of uh, students demonstrator and uh, yeah, you can uh, see the military uh, military the soldiers uh, stand face to face, and then this just the beginning part, and then later the uh, kinds of the the clash and then uh, the this uh, part is the shooting the tear gas, the kinds of the skill, the freedom, the students. Uh, I think the parties are, uh, I, I'm not sure I was standing in front of the, that the demonstrator, but I was some kinds of behind, I was in the school. So uh, my, my house is not much far from the school. So the demonstrator is some kinds of we, some part we gathered together or we scattered together, that kind of things. So my major at the time in Jeonnam University, history. As you know, history major students, they are much uh, involved in political issues, social issues. Uh, mm. I uh, joined some kinds of the, activist to circle. Uh, the name is the Tulpul Yahak. Tulpul Yahak. Uh, Su Chan, how did you feel? How, how did you feel? That's what I'm interested in. How I feel? Yeah, and about actually, being there. Well, yeah, what kind of emotional feeling did you have? So first part, so we are very eager, our demonstrate, uh, our uh, kinds of the democracy in our country. We are protect. We are fight for our uh, social justice. Your human rights. Yeah, human rights. But another thing, I was a young woman. The 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 army, the the kind of threatening to the students. Uh, we are we are scared, mm. and then we we did. Of course. Yeah, we did run away. We couldn't stay there. So, but some, um, as a young woman. The very innocent about the situation. Uh, my generation in Korea, we didn't have any experience about war situation. We don't know what is the weapons kill the people mm. by our soldiers. Mm. Our soldiers, that's not, not our enemy. Our kinds of brother, in, same per, same national person, mm. are still is not communist. Mm. Just we fight. We are, we are not kinds of the, we were just brave to talk about what you believe. Hmm. Okay, good, good. Okay, uh, very good. 
Uh, do you think that uh, Kwanju has uh, recovered from this? Has the cultural presence in Kwanju grown from what it was in 1980? Oh, recovery is uh, another story. It's a long story <laughs> because after. Uh, and let me show some images of the. Uh, this is the happened in Kwanju during the uprising. This is the May 19. Uh, uh, this is a young man. He didn't any kinds of the resist this the beating, just to not accept. He couldn't know how to do. One of this uh, photograph is very in interesting part. This 2000. Uh, this is 1980. There's no any SNS, no any internet. How the country situation revealed outside. Because government through the martial law, they controlled everything. The media control, mm. even though they cut the land road, Kwangju people we couldn't call to our narratives outside of Kwangju. What happened in Kwangju? We couldn't say anything. But one of the brave the journal photographer, he took a picture this one, and he sent this picture to what is through AP UPI Foreign Press in. Seoul, and then this put black and white photograph sent it to Germany. And then after foreign, uh, foreigner reporters, journalists. So they started coming. Yeah, yeah, come and then reveal those, yeah, Gwangju situation. This is the scene of the Gwangju's uh, main street, the Kumnamno, how the, uh, the protest by the citizens. Beginning part is the very peaceful protest, mainly students, but later the suppressing the, the military soldiers, the by the, the suppressing uh, by the military soldiers, the citizens they they join. Well, the auto, the autocrat uh, Chun Dun Kwan, who you mentioned, uh, sent in martial troops. Okay, as you also mentioned, and. Uh, uh, I'm wondering how you felt uh, having grown up in Korea, being part of the everyday community along with others that were pre protesting uh, when you saw these soldiers or when the soldiers started uh, beating up the students. Yes. Yeah. How did you feel? Scared. Mm. It's basically scared. Mm. But it's so many people. So even though they're, they're scared, but the moment, uh, as I said, you, they don't think about their individual kinds of the protection. They much think about the whole the human right and then democracy of the Korea. Also, they are very long term kinds of the uh, depression about this political situation because we want the turn to democratic country. You, but it's I, I would say you desperately wanted to have a dem democracy. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Okay, uh, what do you hear from Americans who come to see your current exhibition at John Jay? Uh, what kind of comments do they make? Have you had any experience with that yet? Uh, it's, uh, it's, um, you, you keep... <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, can you answer that? Yeah. Uh, the opening day, oh, there was some beautiful performance mm. by the Hyun Jerry. So Hyun Jerry's performance, uh, I'd like to make some uh, neutral ceremony for, to remember uh, who passed away during the Gwangju uprising. And so uh, through her performance, so she like to, she said, remember, she said mm. uh, during the performance. And some audience who couldn't bear crime mm. because so deeply touched about what the situation it was very moving. Yeah, they was very moving. And after the performance, the Hyun, she said to me, one of the young women, on a Korean came to her and said, I thank you so much. I learned and I felt myself, I want to be a nice person to others. 
uh, I brought political issue through this exhibition. The 42 years ago, many people died through this uprising. But this is not only far from New York. I, I like to bring the story to New York to think about what is the human right, how human we treated about unjust situation, how we, we can uh, protect ourselves from the authority power, of the, especially military power. So I don't make issue people, we should be an activist, not the point. We think about ourselves. So like the uh, young woman said to the Hyun, we won't be much nice to others. You won't be much treated as a human. Okay. Uh, as, as I understand Korean culture, that is very much a part of how Koreans relate to one another uh, from my personal experience and in terms of what you just said. And I think that's uh, remarkable and certainly applies to this uh, current uh, situation. Okay, um, uh, I, I'm pretty much um, uh, getting to the point where um, I think uh, the relationship between you know the, po the the political situation and the ninjun art, there was some kind of connection there. And one thing that I was going to ask you, and I think that we got into. Uh, a conversation about this uh, maybe a week ago. Uh, there was a um, uh, there. There was a woman's front in this, uh, and I'd like to get your point of view about that in terms of what women felt about this Minjun art and why it became important for them. Well, Minjun art is not any uh, sexual division. <laughs> We are much equally. No, but it's been it's been talked about from the point of view of uh, uh, women, and uh, I think that uh, there's something there, and uh, uh, maybe it took a little time for Minjun art to define itself, particularly in New York, because it was unknown, and for the most part, is still relatively unknown, which is why you're doing this exhibition. I mean, certainly a major part of this exhibition, and. Um, uh, I, I remember hearing a lecture, actually, uh, around the time that we met in 2005 in Korea, where uh, the, um, the women's movement was brought into uh, effect. In other words, uh, their relationship to Minjun art was very important, at least on the part of the speaker that I heard. Okay, um, any comments why that might be the case? I think the Minjung art movement is basically connected with the uh, feminism. Not no? exactly feminism. Feminism is a uh, female the uh, Minjung uh, artist, much mm -hmm. involved in later part of the Minjung art. Mm -hmm. Beginning part is uh, actually started in nine, early uh, middle of the 1970s mm -hmm. before 1980 Gwangju uprising. I, I recognize that. Yeah, so the uh, feminist movement is uh, influenced some party outside of the Korea international feminist movement impacted in, in 1980s. So uh, that is the connected is the Korean Minjung art as political art because many young ladies, they are working in the industrial factory very unfair treatment. So as you know, Korea traditionally a Confucius society. Confucius, Confucian, yeah. yeah, Confucius society. Confucianism very impacted the Korean society. It was so, called Neo-Confucianism, actually. Yeah, yeah, so that means the the human, the recall hmm. treatment is different from men and women. For example, my generation, uh, in the family, there are many children, boys and girls, who can, uh, uh, parents, they can send only boy to the high level education. Mm. Women, mm. they can't do, couldn't do that. So women, they generally, if the poor country family situation, they were sent to the, the factory 
industrial factory and then they work for the family they earn the money and then support their brothers had a high education but mm -hmm. so also inside of the the factory situation so in some case sexual discrimination happened that so that is connect with the family mm -hmm. i think so but uh, you didn't mention uh, Minjun, and uh, I'm interested in what they may have seen in Minjun that would be significant for them. So Minjun is basically people. People is no people's any, art. Yes. Yeah, people's art. That means the everyone equal under the their societies, the system. Not men, woman sh should not be divided, should not be discriminated by their sexuality. Okay, so that's very important for Korea. Yeah, there's yeah, a kind yeah, yeah. of... Certainly uh, very important for Koreans to hear. Um, uh, I, what was that again? I don't know. I'm so sorry. Okay, maybe that will die down on its own. Um, okay, uh, I'll go take care of this. And I, I want you to... Uh, uh, answer the question that I have here. Uh, when you were working on this exhibition at John Jay College, uh, what kind of feelings came back to you that perhaps you hadn't thought about uh, prior to this? Uh, some Koreans who survived this ordeal have express, expressed a deep sadness. Is this a feeling that you have had? Of course. Okay, can you talk about that? Yeah. So what go, it go. Yeah, yeah, sounds yeah. is something yeah. sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in this show, as I said, 18 artists, one group of the artist group, they are basically from uh, Gwangju area. So the the artists they experience uh, they had experienced directly, but Oh, we have survived. Many our friends, our family, we lost them. So, first part of the Kwangju, the uprising, um, we can say that is the failed by the military power. But another side, after that, is government controlled all media. It's the Kwangju. The whole story couldn't come out. So this kind of sealed by military power. But it's so they are the spirit of the Kwangju register the military dictatorship. It was not totally disappeared. Uh, this war is made in 1981. So who don't know about the Kwangju situation, it's not uh, not easily understand what the meaning of the painting was that it looks like abstract painting but this is made in 1981 the, his name uh, Shin Kyung Ho his, he was a professor at the Jeonnam University he after the the um, rising the, the school is the site to run again and then he had a lecture in the, uh, the lecture room but some still some demonstration is totally not uh, this, uh, disappeared. Yeah. yeah. So one demonstrator threw the, the, the rock, small stone. Through the window? Yeah. yeah. And then his window was broken. And when you look the outside of the, the window, the sky is like totally black. It then means darkness, no hope. So he presented this work in 1981. 1981, many artists, they have a mind, but they couldn't present directly what happened in Gwangju. As I said, after 1987, uh, the Chun Du Han, he passed away. The Korean political situation is already returned to democratic uh, uh, environment. That after uh, the artwork changed, the, the rebuild of what the happened in Gwangju. So this, it, is, this is a very interesting. So yeah. in this show, uh, I brought uh, the co-curator, uh, uh, Professor Daria and I, when we selected art, we did very carefully 
and how we there are so many Minjung artwork in Gwangju. So uh, we think about that this show is happened in New York, not Gwangju. So uh, this audience, when they looked at this art, what they can feel, they can feel about Gwangju. They can recognize what happened in Gwangju. Some, the opening time I met some people who are from Greece. Oh, I can understand this work quickly because we have the same political situation. Also during the, uh, this exhibition, I met some students from John Jay College. Also I met students at FIT. So students, even the students, they didn't know about the whole the political situation, but their background from uh, Central America or other historical background, they can understand that this is the not only Gwangju situation in, in the world, many countries many uh, the military dictatorship control their country for a while, some reason for a while. So uh, that is the make a connection. I'm very interested in this uh, painting, which I saw several times over on the left, the, the one right here, yes. And uh, this is by Johan Cho, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is a student throwing a rock at this tank, but it is so accurate in terms of the power that's coming from the military and the average citizen who is trying to stand up for his rights. At least this is my interpretation of the painting. Uh, who, Not painting, this is collage. Oh, it's collage, okay. Well, I think it's mixed media is the way they say it. Anyway, uh, the point is that uh, it's an extraordinary work. And I think that it tells the story in itself, don't you? Uh, don't misunderstand this artwork because the image tank and young man uh, in front of the tank, right. as maybe some people understand of the China, the tank man yes, during the exactly, uh, Tiananmen yeah. uprising, this happened in 1989. Right. Uh, many people uh, know about the Tiananmen uprising, Tiananmen, Tiananmen Square, yeah, yeah. Tiananmen Square massacre, but in New York, uh, some people could know Kwangju um, uprising uh, through the exhibition had a chance to yeah what happened in Kwang anyway that this tankman is not uh, during the Kwangju uprising um, it was not happened this situation but the artist Johan why he brought this image uh, anyone recognize this image this image is from Palestine 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 uh, anyway. Palestine yeah, yeah Palestine yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Um, so Yuan, uh, this is, as I said, this is collage. Mm. Yuan pick up the all different image in the world kinds of injustice yes. or disasters. So uh, there are many detectors image, Hitler or Gwangju or the, in the world, or uh, Fe, 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 Fe? Yeah. So, so, so let me understand. So this painting was not done by a Korean was done by uh, uh, no no this is may, work is made by Yuan, but he got oh, the, the okay, main okay. That's image. What I wanted to know. Yeah. That's the yeah, main yeah. image, the, yeah. the tank and young man right. in front of the I, I uh, the boy yeah. is not he got the image from some Palestinians the newspaper. Right. So through the internet he got the image. It's also interesting to note that this is the first uprising before Tiananmen Square and before the Berlin Wall. Okay? Yes. Those followed, okay? So Korea was ahead of the game. Uh, you can look that up and uh, uh, you'll find it's true in terms of the dates and uh, in fact, the news that was printed at the time. Oh, this, um, I, I talk with the, artist about this image. What's your idea? Are you, why you got the image from the protest of the Palestine, Palestine? Mm -hmm. But according to him, it's very interesting. The boy who holds a rock, right. uh, when he picked up this image, he thought about the, you know, the Renaissance, very famous, the Michelangelo, yeah, so yeah. da, David. Yes, the, the David. Da, David, David. David holds a small rock 
to uh, what is the Goliath, depends the Goliath. So like that, this big tank is a present about power. The young man is a protested authority power. That, that kind of, he may, he'd like to make contrast. Right. Not right. only a uh, particular reason, because it's happened in 2015 after uh, the Gwangju uprising almost to, uh, 35 years later. So the artist in this show, uh, some artwork like yeah, much let, let, directly yeah. presented. I was going to say, let's see some of the other work. Yeah. It's an incredible, incredible work. I think. So some artwork is much directly present what the happened in Gwangju. Some artwork, the this is all the much directly present the, what the happened in Gwangju during the uprising. But some artwork is the, some different way to present. So. I, I mean, not so fast. Uh, I think people want to look at this. It's quite unusual, this painting, I have to say. Which one? The one we're looking at. This is much connected to the bureaucratic demonstration during the Gwangju uprising. Yeah, let's talk about that, because I, I, my understanding was that the bus drivers and the cab drivers all got, got into the uh, demonstration. Is, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. And in other words, they, they were supporting common people and the students. Yes. yes, because the students, they don't have any weapons. The soldiers, they have weapons. And, and then they kind of threaten the young people. Their students, they, they couldn't stand that kind. Of, they wanted to protect the, yeah, take care of the students' demonstration. Mm. So they joined that. Yeah, I, I have to say at this point also that uh, for our audience out there uh, online, uh, you really have to see this show. It's an extraordinary show. I mean, seeing these online is one thing, but go and see this work. It's much more vast than we're showing here. We just selected a few images, but uh, it's an, an extraordinary show uh, at the John Jay, uh, what, what is the name of this uh, oh. gallery? Enya and Andrew Shiva Gallery. The, Shiva, show, the Shiva Gallery. Yeah, the yeah, show yeah. is closing soon. The last day is the 21st, this Friday. We are going to make the closing event. Or during the closing event, we are uh, there is another performance from Gwangju. Oh, good, good. The first one was terrific, by the way. Just uh, outstanding. Yeah, hi, uh, outstanding. Hi. Okay. Uh, so have to share. Are we... Uh, do, do we continue or what, 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 what is our next step? As, uh, as you wish, if you have a couple more slides, feel free. If you'd like okay. to wrap up now. Yeah, we, we do, we do, okay. Uh, uh, okay, the, I prepared just a slide to present this the, is very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. image of the, the show, the painting, so there's... Uh, this, uh, I like to introduce this one. Um, people can understand what's that exactly. This is a kind of installation work. The work is made in 2022. The artist name is Mary Lee. Oh, uh, e, e. Mary, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the title is, they rose to 20, uh, 42 years then. Uh, so the, as I said, it just, uh, Kwangju Omlaising happened 40, Two years ago, uh, forty-two years. Yes, the nineteen eighty. I was uh, twenty years old, and now it's uh, I came a grandma. <laughs> so anyway, forty-two years is long. Uh, the, there is a plastic bag. Uh, there are uh, we I uh, installed around over seventy-eight plastic bag. Uh, the actual idea of the artist intention to make this installation, uh, she took her the dirt soil of the some excavation, as I said, you in, in the area that was uh, buried. Yeah, buried yeah. So during the Hwang Jong many people uh, uh, killed by the, what is the martial law troops. And then they hide their brutal treatment to the citizens. In some case, they buried it secretly, and mm. then they hide it. 
mm. and and about this 40 years later or oh, sorry sorry just touched to research about that mm. and then uh, in four different locations around Gwangju, they uh, the the place were excavated mm. the buried situation where they had buried yeah uh, that, some of their people right yeah, yeah. demonstrators dead yeah. artists yeah, yeah. so the artist she followed the different location and uh, took the pic the video and also uh, she took some soil around the area mm. and then put the, the envelope and each envelope the the meaning the their dead of, bodies of a so, person who was buried yes yeah. yeah, so we should remember that we don't have to forget so what the meaning of the we should remember we should remember not only dead bodies but we should remember the spirit of the Gwangju, the the humanity if, uh, toward democracy yes that's okay. right but on, can, can I say another story about this one? The, the soil is not from Korea exactly. Original idea is the from Korea. But it will be sent from Korea to the United States. Yes, yeah. the, but the, what is this, the international custom situation? Is did, the, did not allow. Yeah, yeah, the COVID situation, they are not allowed. So, so instead of the, Gwangju's soil, I brought the here Manhattan soil. So you can think about I, it. I think that's brilliant, what you did. I think it's really brilliant. And so every place, there, when you're digging their history, there are many human sacrifice that is not happened in Gwangju, but we covered it. So covered means is so we, we want to hide it, but artists, what their role for the, their society, so artists is not exactly activist. We make artwork. If you want to be activist, we should go out and then fight it. That is activist. Well, artists, we are different. Different way to present what the social issues. So through the artwork, you can make recall, remind, and then give the impression what is the important for the human being. Good. That that Good. is the, the as a curator's a curator's point of view to make this show. Uh, so Chen, I really think you're quite exceptional in terms of your point of view. And I think a lot of it is tied into your Korean ancestry. Uh, but this kind of, uh, shall we say, neo-humanism is exactly what we need today. And we, we need it in art. You know, everybody is talking about uh, AI. Okay, we don't need that. Nobody needs that. It's not important, okay? It'll just confuse us more and more. But getting back to a sense of humanism is something that we desperately need. And I think that this work is something that is telling us that. We desperately need a humanist point of view in terms of how we live, how we speak, how we act, how we interact with one another. And I think that's one of the real values of the show curated by Suchan and Thalia Vakopoulos. Uh, I think these two women did a fantastic job, absolutely fantastic job. And uh, I'm very, very taken and moved. I mean, moved emotionally by what they have done. Okay, this is my confession. All right, uh, anything else that we wanna talk about Suchan? Uh, after that comment, uh, I hope you can follow up with something. Uh, first thing, I really appreciate uh, everyone to help, help to make this show. And co-creator or director of the gallery and from Gwangju uh, artist, also Gwangju Cultural Foundation. Um, but most of all, I appreciate uh, people who died during the Gwangju um, rising. So, In 1980. Yes. Yeah. And many families, they're still deep sorrow. They lost their family. Yeah. That well, is part of their family, yes. Yeah. Often young men. Yes. Often young mother, mother cried. Which is very sad. Yes, I agree with you. Okay. Um, 
Uh, what else uh, do you have to say about this, uh, Suchan? Uh, uh, I'd like to get to some uh, people's questions. Well, I, I think we're, we're going to get that. We, we, can we, uh, is it, uh, do we have any people that would like to make a comment or? Yes, I'd like to know, listen uh, to what you uh, I, I think this is important that we have yeah. an interaction. Uh, maybe some some of our audience wasn't aware of how significant this event uh, was. Uh, and because it's very unknown in the United States, amazingly. And as I mentioned, it was the first uprising before the Chinese and the East Germans. Okay, uh, this was the principle to establish a more democratic world and a more humanist world. And this is the feeling certainly that I get from this exhibition. I have to say that one of my uh, favorite parts are the uh, uh, woodblock cuts of which this is one of them. Uh, in the United States or in the Western world, not entirely, but in certain areas, there's an absence of this kind of art, okay? And I think that there is something so rich about these prints. Now, these are prints, okay? Uh, and uh, they're extraordinary. And uh, I think that uh, when you go to the show, uh, you will see, uh, how many of these are there in, in the exhibition? The show is closed to by uh, 21st. No, no, no. I want to know how many of these uh, images. A woodcut image? Yeah, or what? yeah the, 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 these wood, woodblock prints. Woodblock prints. How is many the, of those? Penny is the, by the artist group. Uh, the artist this, group. Yeah, yeah, and uh, this image is by Hong Song Dam. I brought two images of the Hong Song Dam woodblock print, but there is album uh, by by his uh, whole the selection or collection of the his woodcut print, the collection of the well, he's one print, of the best known. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hong Song Dam is internationally very well known Korean political art, art uh, political artist. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, there are a number of these uh, woodblock cuts that are just extraordinary to to watch, to to see, to look, to feel. Let's not forget feeling in art. Uh, uh, also, I. Uh, I, why I pick up the, this image, this, uh, the title is the Korean term is Taedong Sesang, that means very harmonious world. The, during the Gwangju uprising, uh, there were five days, the socially, uh, totally uh, the liberation without uh, citizens liberation, without any uh, government political uh, power. Right. So uh, like a party coming, so only the citizens they help each other. So they they present very how they help each other. They make some small the rice bowl and then they give the the feeding to the uh, system uh, army and how they happy the moment mm. the real liberation from the military. The, the citizens army they they yeah. prepared the rice. That's no no the yeah. women they. Mm. Prepare the rice for the soldiers. The oh, for the soldiers. Yeah, uh -huh. they help them. Mm. So the kind, of, mm, yeah, it's some liberation period only of five days. Not five days. How many well, days for this? That's uh, long enough to do some real damage and long enough to remember it as a historical event uh, that is really more than an event. I think it uh, signifies a change of attitude in relation to government and why in Korea, the democratic movement needs to happen, okay? And uh, so now we have in Korea, a democracy. It wasn't easy yeah. and a lot of people suffered and there were a lot of situations that were not comfortable. So uh, I like but to... it's an important event for the reason of bringing democracy to Korea. Okay, I like to listen to 
the many people make questions. Okay, so let's uh, let's listen. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you both so much. For, Can I for close the sharing? Yeah, sure. Yeah, please. Thank yeah. you, Su Chen. Um, let's see. So we have a question um, from our friend GE, and I'm going to ask um, on his behalf. Um, he says, can you please speak about the power of memory and art to not only heal after such an event of repression, but to activate us going forward? Thank you. That's good. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, very clearly present. Thanks so much. Yeah. Can you respond to that? Do you agree with it? Yeah, yeah. I totally agree okay. with that. Okay. It's uh, the artwork, as I said you, uh, how they hold the history. So it's the, in the history book, you can describe what happened in Gwangju, but artist work is a, a little different way to present what the, in the history. So they're kind of the, uh, more deeply understand some uh, human side, and then they like to describe uh, what the happened in Gwangju. So it's a, uh, you know, the, um, related to the Minjunga, the beginning part is uh, social realism. People think, oh, this is kind of the social realism style artwork. They're presented very well, the human figure, the scene of the demonstration. Well, that's not entirely true. Though. Yeah, but it's a beginning part that people think about that, but the, essence of the, the, the theme is not only that kind of the social realism idea, it's the uh, 42 years differences, the, uh, of the True. different way of the present of the same uh, theme. So in this show, uh, the 19 arti artists, the two Popomo actually, uh, one group of the artists, so all uh, some different way of the present with the same scene. Uh, what about the power of memory? That's uh, something uh, that came the out. The power of the memory. Um, it's, um, Do you think uh, this exhibition brings that back? Of course, there. Certainly to Koreans, correct? Not only Korean, as I oh. said, you. Um, some connection with international human rights movement. Sure. So some images, they can bring their own memory. The artist who experienced in uh, Gwangju uprising, um, they can bring their memory. That is the power of the memory. But uh, the, through their own memory, present through the artwork, and then other people, they can bring their own memory mm -hmm. and then oh, they good, meet their good. memories. It's very important part. So it's, um, as I said to you, oh, the, mm -hmm. this show, it's not only bring, not, the re, not only the reason to bring to the, back to the history. I like to bring the history to present. To the present, yeah. And then, uh, we can make some discourse what the meaning of the like several different point of view to Brilliant. understand the same political or historical situation. Brilliant, Suchan. Very good. Very good. Okay. Any others? Thank you so much, GE, for that question. Thank you, Suchan, for your answer. Um, I'm going to turn it over to my colleague Chloe for a question. Okay. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Suchan. <laughs> Hi, Su Chang. I first I want to thank you so much for everything that you've shared today and for all the images you put together on this amazing exhibition. And I hope everyone joining today will go see it. Um, I'm wondering if you can tell us a bit about working with your co-curator on the exhibition and what that collaboration was like. Um, as I said, I'm from Gwangju. Also, I had experienced Gwangju uprising. Mm -hmm. I know about Gwangju art scene, I know about Gwangju artist, but the professor Daria Boro, what is her last name? Rakropolis. Rakropolis. Yeah. Uh, she's a professor at John Jay College. 
She has worked here. She's our historian. Yeah, right? art yeah. historian. She has worked here for a while as a curator. He has many experience. Mm -hmm. So I like to get another point. Do you understand? I'm inside the point. I like to bring outside the point. And she has, a, I, I bring some images. It's a quantum point. Oh, it's important. I like to present this work to the New York. But New Yorkers point, oh, this is not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something, we are not much interested in this work. She could, yeah, she responds that. And then we discuss. And mm -hmm. then oh, we, uh, she and I, we would like to way of uh, make the meaning of the, this show to communicate with the John Jay. Basically, that is the gallery inside of the school. So John Jay is, uh, as you know, the human justice, criminal human justice. So mm -hmm. the students, they are much interested in human rights issues, political issues. So mm -hmm. uh, through the, the, uh, the school uh, situation, uh, I bring the, some, this is very uh, proper exhibition to present at the- Yeah, it's the opposite of a trendy art show. So we work together and then some part we divide uh, some role, but we uh, continually discuss and then develop the idea of the show and mm -hmm. uh, develop the whole the, the expectation of the, this show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chloe, for that question. Um, and that's it for the questions that have come in. Thank you both so, so much. Um, it is our tradition here at the rail to end our community events with a uh, poetry reading and I'm so thrilled to welcome poet Julie Agus here uh, to close today. Julie Agus is the author of four collections of poetry, including Above the Land, winner of the Yale Series of Younger Poets Award, Property from Copper Canyon Press, and Ecosystem from the Sheep Meadow Press. Her new manuscript, Stateless, is a meditation presented as a series of still lifes and readings in political philosophy. She is a professor of English and coordinator of the MFA program in poetry at Brooklyn College CUNY and lives in Nyack, New York. Thank you, Julie, so much for being here. I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, um, Carolyn and, Brooke, and the Brooklyn Rail. And thank you, Su Chung and Robert. Um, that I'm feeling kind of smacked by the narrative, by the images, um, by the idea of uh, confession and by the call for um, a deeper humanism. So I'm gonna read um, a few poems. And again, these are still lives of a sort that are thinking through um, the political implication of ideas of place um, the place in this case is here and now, uh, but I think, I hope some of what I read will resonate with these ideas of memory um, and with the, with the danger um, of, author of authoritarianisms. Um, the first is a prose poem. It's called Liquid State, and it has an epigraph from the French sociologist Pierre Bourdieu to conceive of a revolutionary project, to have a well thought out intention to transform the present in reference to a projected future. A modicum of hold on the present is needed. Across the street, they are taking down my neighbor's house who two years back before he went had spent his days raking the asphalt, picking up leaves and smoking a cigarette beside the hedge filling a van for disaster relief, and twice each year waving it off to the port of New York, from there to hedge his bets to Haiti, raking it in for months at a time to give. Then the wife, who was also a mother, went, who died, I remember, lifting her fist to God against him, leaving the son, my friend, in the muscular heat of shoveling snow, the dumpster now filled with the elements. He had been working at Walgreens, managing as he always had, and when I went in waiting to speak in the aisles, had suddenly seemed to have been replaced by a series of men who had come up behind him and my own kids 
their mystery generation, snow on snow. This grinding work that begins with a massive cleansing of goods hurled from the windows. The windows shut, though there is no glass, and the dumpster parked for the first lockdown months by the barren rows of Sharon. First, it was barely winter, then barely spring, then barely summer, masked and unmasked, en masse, all barely following fall, and a silence following then that meant the money had run out or the border had closed, the project abandoned. But then in droves, the demo team that has not given up even now had pitched the roof from the roof, and then last week the siding, and today the laugh, so that I can see for the first time studs and the layout of rooms where for years the hostile takeover of one by the other it occurred, though none within the surrounding streets was any the wiser, nor now as to who is directing this work, nor why now. It doesn't seem like a government of fixed terms, nor like a coup exactly has occurred, though as terrors apart and spectators gather on site, it's hard to know and hard to approach without fear of snow that one false move could cost an arm and a leg above the asking price and that all moves from now furthermore seem false. The early bird calls out to say goodbye to her. I remember it then at 6 a.m. and remember it now. And with hers, his name, which for the time being I will not speak, lest it label him again, wanted, or MIA. Instead, let the verse and the paragraphs and the house and the point on the graph be named for him, be the time and place when he might return, be I remember, be his voice rebels. And this is called excursus. More houses than meet the eye of daylight as it careers off course and enters wherever it can from the east. Each fissure of sleep in a narrow meeting of jays and nuthatch trawling the low skirted beach drops down like moonlight dropped at night, like rain, like torn brown paper streamed from gutters in air's high lookouts where separate enough to count as bodies in labor breathe, as pages torn from a block drop down, as someone writes a letter to neighbors uphill, seeking between his house and the other, as clouds drag over the lake and pond their flags of flammable loyalties, and crossing the lake, discounting his arrival, now the lake bereft of houses, doubling down in water's mirror, signaling porch lights dimmed as midnight swims once into mind and crowds the air where the demagogue leans over himself, the water filled now with only his voice. Still even, which means still life. The priceless painting, the car, the kids, the award, the pizza, the bedside table, the etudes, the nocturne, the delivery, the car, the actor, the theme, the patient, the examiner, the location, the experience, the long form email, the iPhone, the expectation that is set when John says, in the linguistic context, it will be Liz's turn, but in the world, it is not. She will respond within the length of the pause after his utterance like a tree in fall holding on to a space for the unusual pause length in the third. I'm gathering my thoughts might serve as a cause, the lack of completion forming a separate cause of the content in the following. You're a great cook. I love your lasagna. You should probably get home to feed the cat. The maxim of relevance violated the infelicitous violates and changes the topic. The lack of speaking in violation of quantity, the maxim. She must make her contribution of words 
as informative as required by not speaking at all, or she threatens her positive face, undermining his desire to be seen, a desire apparent in his first utterance, a thinly veiled request to be validated. Thinly veiled equals threat. And this is the last one, slot machine. One light across lake in a steady state among trees and another farther oranger like fire or car lights askew or a campfire in high danger days surprising given the constant rain that follows in sound like burners or blowers or fan far away a mower until up close identifiably thunder siphoning sound from a larger storm, more show than bite, referred by something like rain before rain, like wind first rolling the water, as if to approach or push off, but long before fear's agenda, that something else will always happen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Julie, that's beautiful. Um, thank you again, Suchan and Robert, so much for this conversation. Everyone do go see the show. Thank you all for coming here this afternoon. We would also like to thank the Terra Foundation for sponsoring our NSC program. You can view today's event in our full archive on the Rails YouTube channel. For the past 22 years, the Brooklyn Rail has provided a platform for the arts, culture, and politics through our monthly publication and public events like our daily NSC. Please check the chat for a link to donate to support the writers, editors, and operations here at the Rail. And please join us tomorrow at 1 p.m. for Eclipse Lounge, a Rail poetry reading curated by Oscar Moises Diaz. And you can now turn your microphones on and say goodbye as you all leave. Thank you again so, so much for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Sushan. It was job. great. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Julie. Beautiful. Have great Tuesdays, everyone. Okay. Bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Chloe yeah. and Carolyn. Uh,